Regarding radial nerve, I'm going to divide into two parts, motor and sensory. Before I'm going to demonstrate the radial nerve test, I would like to recall the muscles that are supplied by the radial nerve. The first would be the triceps, second would be the brachioradialis, the third would be supinator, the fourth would be extensor muscles of the wrist, and the fifth would be extensor muscles of the fingers. So these five things come in your mind and don't forget to examine them. One of the typical characteristics of a radial nerve injury is a wrist drop. The patient would be able to flex the wrist, which is the blue arrow, but he will either have difficulty or paralysis in extending his wrist, which is the red arrow. Regarding the sensory part, I covered that in the link below. You will find it in the description as well. 